Hi, I'm Hans-Peter Arp. And I'm Heidi Knutsen. And this is Starsky the Starfish. In our previous video, we talked about microplastics in drinking bottles. And now we'll talk about drinking bottles on the sea floor. Now, pet bottles, or bottles like this, are made out of a plastic called PET. It has a density of 1.4, more than water. So meaning, this means that if you throw a bottle off a boat, then it will end up at the sea floor, where it goes to all the critters that live there. Now I have some examples of pet plastic right here. These are exactly the same as in a bottle and I'm going to pollute, unfortunately, our little Starsky the Starfish. Oh, they just sink. <laughs> All right. So what we want to show is how we can separate these uh, dense plastics from sediment. Yeah, so let's science this. Well, I, have, I have some uh, PET pieces and we're going to put them in the uh, sediment just to show you how this works. So I'll put some in there. Okay, so this is one of our density separators. Actually, it is a glass column that we have filled with a high density salt solution. And this makes plastics flow while sediments sink. So we can break up the sediment as it goes down. So here's all the plastic that we actually put in the sediment and got back out. There was these uh, pet pieces that you see are now floating, not sinking. Here is a bottle cap and there's also some uh, polystyrene we put in that sediment. Okay, so now that we separated our plastics uh, from the sediments, the next question is how do we get this out in a quantitative way? Well, there's actually many ways you can do that. Uh, one of the ways we do it here is we built these separation funnels. They go on top and then you increase the zinc chloride from the bottom so that the whole floating solution goes in the separation funnel and we separate it. We got this version and then we got the big beast here with a nice glass window that we also like to use. And in addition you can also do it by having an overflow. You set up a little tap system and you collect the overflow when you increase the level. Or the simplest way, if it's uh, big plastic pieces, we just use a spoon. Here are two of our separators, which we call Bauta, in action with real environmental samples. Okay, so now we have separated this plastic so that we can quantify it. And on behalf of Starsky the Starfish and us, thanks for watching. And so, what are we going to do with the plastic? You're going to recycle it, right? You bet. <laughs>